Welcome to DataViz Dev Talk. I'm your host, Minhas Kazi, developer advocate for Data Studio. In this video, we'll show you how community connectors work. Community connectors are custom connectors built in AppScript that you can use to connect to your own data. To build a community connector, you will develop your code in AppScript and then deploy the connector. Then, users can start using it. Based on different user actions in Data Studio, the Data Studio will execute the script and invoke different functions. Then, based on the function response, Data Studio will take different actions and render the interface as well as the data on the screen. In this video, we will show the community connector flow step by step. We will also show the expected outcomes on screen and the user interactions to help you understand how to develop your code. When you develop your connector, you will write the code and also provide certain metadata about your connector in the manifest. The manifest will be a file named appscript.json and it will be a part of your AppScript project. We will discuss the manifest in details in a later video. Your code can be in a single file or distributed across multiple files in AppScript. For a basic community connector, you will need to define four functions in your code. The first function is getAuthType that tells Data Studio the authorization type for the connector. The getConfig function tells Data Studio how the user configuration screen should be rendered. Then the getSchema function provides the schema for your data. Finally, the getData function provides the actual data for the requested fields to Data Studio. Now let's see how a typical connector workflow would look like. This is more of a simplistic example to better illustrate how the connector workflow works. Depending on your implementation and requirements, this workflow might somewhat vary. To use a connector, the user first selects it in Data Studio. In our example, we are showing the Google Fit connector that lets you fetch your Google Fit data. Once the user has selected the connector, Data Studio now executes the connector script and calls the getAuthType function. Based on the response provided by the connector, Data Studio will then trigger the required authorization flow. The user will see the auth flow on the screen and complete it to provide authorization to the connector. For our example, only the Google authorization is needed for the connector. For your implementation, you might need additional authorization from a third-party site. After the authorization is complete, Data Studio will call the getConfig function from the script. In this function, you can define what configuration information you'd like to collect from the user. Based on the response from the script, Data Studio will render the configuration interface for the connector. Here, we can see that the Google Fit connector needs only one configuration input from the user. It asks the user which type of data it should return. The user completes all the necessary configuration and clicks connect. At this point, Data Studio has the necessary configuration and calls the getSchema function to get the schema of the data. It will render the field screen and let the user update the schema if needed. In our example, we can see that for the selected configuration, the Google Fit connector has a schema with five different fields. The user clicks the Create Report button to move on to the next step. Now, the user will be shown a blank Data Studio dashboard where they can add charts and tables to create their own report. When the user adds a new chart, Data Studio will make the get data call to the connector script. The connector will then fetch the data from the Google Fit API and send it back to Data Studio. Then, Data Studio will render the chart with the data. This is basically how a community connector works. Our example showed a full workflow from authorization to rendering the data. Now, if I shared the Google Fit dashboard with someone else and they view the dashboard, Data Studio will only make the get data calls to the connector to refresh and update the data. So when a dashboard is viewed, only the get data calls will get executed. So that was an overview of how community connectors work in Data Studio. In our next videos, we will show you step by step how you can build your own connector. You can always go to our developer site at developers.google.com slash data studio for more information. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to the GCP channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.